Today we're playing with smoke and fire. Hey guys, welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace. You can find me on Twitter at AKNacer. You can find me here at Flurn five days a week making fun um, videos <laughs> to help you guys get better at Photoshop and photography. We're going to get into our image real quick, but I got to tell you, I've been using um, Instagram a lot more often. And if you guys want to follow me, I'm just AKNacer on Instagram. I post all kinds of random stuff. Do you guys like Instagram? Um, what do you think? Is it um, cheating? A lot of people said uh, that people are using it for like weddings and stuff like that. And like, I don't know, what do you guys think about Instagram? I kind of like it. I think it's fun. It's less like work to me. It's more just like fun taking pictures. But um, what do you guys think? All right, let's talk about our winners from this last contest with the Miss Aniela book. You guys are all getting a book by Miss Aniela. Ryan Weiss and Lena Palace and Jason Vincent, you guys are all winning Miss Aniela's new book, which is amazing. If you guys haven't checked it out, um, there's an interview with Miss Aniela. You can, we'll link to that below and her new book. Um, it's like the best book on photography ever, so um, you guys should definitely pick that up and you can do that right down below as well. Today we're editing an image from the family. This is Stevie's image and uh, I love it. It's awesome. We're going to go ahead and get started. So we've got an image, um, we've got some smoke and some fog and a little bit of like blown out highlights. I'm going to show you guys a quick way to fix those real quick. Then we're going to be doing some things with the smoke and the fog. I'm going to grab an adjustment layer. We're going to go down here to curves and just click and drag this right down there. There we go. And it doesn't look good right now. Let's just drag this down a little bit well as well. I know it doesn't look that great, um, but we're going to make it look a little bit better. Here on our layer mask, we're going to go to image and then down to apply image. There we go, and I'm gonna hit OK. What this does, it basically, it makes a layer mask that looks like this, and um, it makes this layer more visible in the lighter areas and less visible in the darker areas. So what you wind up getting is something that kind of like um, fixes your problems with your exposure. For the most part, it's not gonna be perfect, but it's definitely going to help out. Okay, the next thing I wanna do is, we actually already created a fog brush in Flurn, and I'm gonna send this to you guys too. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick this brush up. And what I'm going to do is create some of this fog, but I want to start with darker fog in the background. So we're going to choose a dark color here and um, maybe a little bit smaller brush. And then I'm going to just start painting here. There we go. Starting off with a dark color in the background, and then we're going to go lighter in the foreground. And you can see like this fog brush, it just, it kind of just looks like fog, which is, you know, the point of the whole brush. Um, we do have fog in here. This is all from the original photo, but I thought it would just maybe look cooler with a bit more fog in here as well. So what I'm doing, I wanna kind of build up, oh, the ice cream man is here. <laughs> he comes by like every day on our studio, it's awesome. Um, I wanna build this effect up. So that's why I'm starting off with kind of like the dark behind there. And I'm gonna make a new layer and then choose like a lighter color and then add that over top. And then we're gonna add another color right over top of that. And you guys will have the smoke brush so you can kind of smoke and fog brush. You can kind of do whatever you want with this too. All right, now we're just gonna come up with the even lighter color and kind of bring this in in a few places. There we go. And I'm not spending, you know, a really long time on this. You're, depending on how long you spend on it, it's basically gonna depend on how good it is, like pretty much everything else in life. There we go. And let's just bring some of this stuff in there. All right. That looks pretty good. It looks a little bit fake. Um, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna group those two together and just put a layer mask on there. And then I'm just gonna use the same fog brush and kind of layer mask some of this fog out to get it to kind of like dissipate a little bit. There we go. That looks much better. And the color isn't exactly like what I want. You can see it's kind of like going towards gray. Um, I think we could use a little bit of blue in there. So I'm gonna go in here in this gray fog. I'm just gonna hit Command L and um, we're gonna go into our blue channel and just, there we go, change our blue levels. Actually a little bit of yellow looked a little bit better just cause it, gray didn't really make sense. It needs to reflect the color of the light. Okay, that looks really good. Now I'm, I want even more like behind this tree over here. So what I'm gonna do is we'll make a new layer and uh, I'll just grab my lasso tool. You could use a pen tool for this, but um, I actually like making selections like this with the lasso tool because I kind of like jitter my hand as I'm making this selection and it helps it read like, you know, an imperfect surface. Um, if you used a pen tool, it just might come, it's like, you know, it's a very nice clean selection, but here with just the lasso tool, 
my hand's kind of like doing this the whole time, which kind of, it makes it seem like it's the edge of the tree anyway. So that's pretty much what we want anyway. Okay, so we've got that area back there. I've got my selection here. Let's go ahead and load that as a layer mask by clicking on the layer mask. And then I just want to bring in some more fog back there, but kind of like limit it to only behind the tree. That'll give me just a little bit of distinction there. There we go. So like we're creating a little bit more of an atmosphere. You can see it's like, it looks like the image has a bit more depth. And the layer mask that I made just looks like this. This is what I was doing with my with my hand that made the layer mask actually look like it's the edge of a tree. I might give that a tiny bit of a blur. There we go, cool. So we're just adding a little bit more depth to the photo like this as well. I think we're looking great. Um, the next thing I would, would do to this photo is basically just a bit of color toning and um, then I think we're gonna be done, which is very exciting. This didn't take too long. Okay, I'm gonna grab an adjustment layer and we're gonna go up to our levels. Le uh, use the levels or curves, really whatever you want. Um, it's whatever you guys are comfortable with. They do pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna take my output levels and just drag these down here. And uh, we're gonna go to our blue channel and drag this up here. Let's see, green channel. Um, each one of these channels, you have to kind of think about a little bit. I mean, the more you do this, it'll kind of become second nature. But like if you're in the blue channel and you grab from the right side, it's gonna put more yellows in your highlights and also kind of darken those down a little bit. So you have to think about like the opposites, like blues and yellows are opposite and um, reds and cyans are opposite. So if you want more reds in your shadows, you click in your red channel and drag that up for your shadows. Same thing like with your greens. There we go. And let's just bring this back up a little bit there too. So I'm just adding a bit, little bit of color toning in here to make it a little bit more um, just kind of colored and interesting and moody in my opinion. There we go. Let's grab an adjustment layer again. Um, this time we'll go with curves. Let's go to our red channel, click this guy, and um, just maybe add a little bit more red. There we go. Just doing a little bit of color work here. And this is the cool part. It's just totally like playing around. Like you can really do whatever you want here. And it's gonna look good because that's <laughs> that's what it's all about. I wouldn't do this for like a super, you know, like a, a hard image with, you know, that was used with like harsh lighting and things like that. This is much better for these types of images that are like really soft and kind of subtle looking. Okay, we're gonna invert that layer mask and grab my gradient tool and I'm just gonna paint white on my gradient. Kind of just bring in some of these gradients here. And that's just gonna darken some of these areas out and allow, you know, it's kind of like a natural vignette there. All right, that looks good. Now I'm gonna actually go back before I did all those changes and now we're just gonna grab a regular brush tool. The fog is cool, I've, I've got the structure of the fog but now I just wanna go in with a regular brush tool, choose like a very large brush and just kinda really fade this out. Like I kinda want everything to get like really faded. We can go ahead and bring those back visible and see you know like kinda what's happening here. Um, just like this stuff is you know really in front of the camera quite a bit more fog effect in the image as a whole. There we go. And it'll help bring attention away from these areas um, and it'll help bring attention towards the subject. There you go. So you can see this is just like, you know, kind of just takes away a little bit of the detail. And a lot of people use that like professional painters. Um, they'll use techniques like this as well when they're trying to like draw attention away from an area. Like, if they're doing a portrait painting, like they'll put a lot of detail right there in the portrait and they'll leave the detail out for the rest of the painting and that helps you actually look at a person's face. So that's kind of what we're doing here. I'm just kind of like manually taking away detail just simply by place painting over it and because we already have fog in this image, um, you know, in my opinion, it, it works pretty well. All right, on top of all that, just to add a little bit more detail, um, especially because we are covering a lot of it with fog, I'm gonna make a new layer, we'll stamp visible that, shift option command E, um, I'm gonna desaturate that and then we'll change this to soft light. We're gonna to filter and down here to other and to high pass. So we're really doing um, quite a lot with this image. There we go, let's change it to like linear light. It'll give us a bit more of an effect. All right, perfect. And I'm going to invert that layer mask and just put the layer mask visible over her face and hands and everything. And that's just gonna kind of sharpen that area up. You can see it just sharpens it up a little bit and it's just gonna draw a little bit more attention to that area. 
All right, I think it looks good. Um, last thing, I would just, I'm, I'm gonna fix this on her leg because it's still a little bit too bright. So I'm just gonna grab this color with my brush tool and paint right over her leg. And I'm not being too careful here because um, I'm actually gonna choose a blending mode that's going to be darken and that's gonna have it only really show up in the areas where it's, um, you know, in the areas where it's actually really light. So it's not gonna show up in the darker areas and just blend that in a little bit more. Cool, and then that basically helps out with um, you know our exposure issues, and then everything looks nice and even. All right, let's see what it looks like, guys. That's it. Whew, there we go. It's Photoshop, it's so hard, it's hardcore. I'm so hardcore at Photoshopping. <laughs> guys, we have a texture contest going on right now. You can submit your images. We've got details that below. We've given you free textures apply them to your images and then submit them back to Florin. You guys can win free Florin Pro texture packs. It's awesome. Thanks so much for watching Florin. I can't wait to see your entries and tell me what you think about Instagram because I like it. See you guys later. Let me Instagram your face.